Hey guys, it's Nate and this is the Nader Tater channel. Alright, today I'm going to talk about home internet and specifically some of the key differences that Verizon has on their home internet versus T-Mobile has on their home internet and it's uh, really addresses a lot of the complaints I hear about people with the T-Mobile. So I want to cover it and specifically there's a recent update to the Verizon firmware on their little white cube which is their main 5G home internet unit and it covers 4G LTE as well as their C-band um, you know frequencies it does not cover their millimeter wave they have a separate gateway for that but this one their cube which is the most popular one just got an update it's actually been about a month now but uh, a viewer tipped me off to it I had not even realized it because you have to go in there and check on it and see but it auto updates but let me show you what kind of features it added and how that makes it very different than the T-Mobile one. Now, there's a couple key things with the cellular-based home internet that kind of annoy people. And uh, one of those is it's typically harder to get a public IP address and that really limits your ability to do things like port forwarding or to have a open are a non-strict NAT type, which is important for the gamers where you want to do multiplayer uh, gaming and you want to host stuff, or if you're doing anything where you need to remote in to your home network from outside, uh, either for file sharing or for um, watching security cameras or you know lots of different you know hosting your own server that kind of stuff. Um, the cell-based stuff tends to hurt it. A lot of the regular ISPs, the cable, the fiber, they let you do fairly straightforward of, um, you know, using their modem just as a modem and then opening it up to your own personal router to do all kinds of your own personal firewall, your port forwarding, and, and whatnot. So some people get away with it on the cell-based stuff by using a VPN, and they do make VPNs that allow you to um, do port forwarding. They're a little bit harder to find, a little bit more work to set up, and they do slow down your internet speed, but that is an option out there. The other big thing that happens with cell-based stuff that people complain about is location. So with like T-Mobile especially, with their CG NAT, you cannot control where you leave the T-Mobile network and go out to the internet. And so what that means is you might connect to your local tower, it's only a mile away from you, but then it, that information, those packets are going to travel through the T-Mobile network, and they might not leave, like I'm in southeast Michigan, they might pop out in Ohio, and therefore any website or service that I'm using thinks I'm physically located in Ohio, but I'm not, I'm, I'm in Michigan. And so that can create problems. You know, I've had issues with like online banking. It, you know, it pops up the fraud alert and makes me do some extra authentication to approve it. And then, you know, things like uh, streaming services will uh, kick you off of them. And so that's another drawback to the, the home internet. But let me hop in here and show you what Verizon has fixed that T-Mobile still has issues with. Okay, so just like T-Mobile, they have a website. It's kind of hidden to find, but it is under their support section, and then you can go to your specific gateway. And this, um, you know, they, the shorthand is, is ASK, which is for ASCII, which is the, the brand, and then the, the unit model number is this NCQ1338. Uh, and this has a list of the different software updates and you can see that there's been three main ones that have happened and Verizon does a better job of spelling out exactly what changed you know I've been quite uh, disappointed actually in T-Mobile's um, text of what they say has update they'll say like stability improved uh, it doesn't really give you a lot of information this one here does very clearly define what the software has fixed that a user like me would care about and the big one is the second one added IP pass-through support um, and then it you know solved some other um, minor issues or things where the network would disconnect that's a, another um, I guess not quite as common as some of the other complaints but both T-Mobile and Verizon I've heard it where the uh, internet would just drop out and it wouldn't reconnect without a reboot uh, so this has a, at least addressed some of those issues 
um, as well as some other minor uh, updates. So the big one that I wanted to touch on was really this IP pass through as probably the biggest um, change. And so that's here. Now if I log in to my gateway itself, which is this 192.168.12.1, and I changed the password of mine to make it easy to log in. And so here we can say this is my gateway. And what I've done to set it up, I have my own uh, AI mesh. So it's the Asus brand um, mesh network behind this gateway. And I actually have six different routers that make up a mesh network that covers actually several acres of land here. And so what I wanted to do was make my Verizon one um, only act as a modem and I don't want it to do any firewall or any kind of I turn the Wi-Fi off and um, I don't want it to do DHCP or any of that kind of stuff okay so if we go through these settings and I'll just skip right over down to this network one and then if I go to the LAN now this is where you can see this new IP pass-through option that uh, I have turned off now just to show um, what we do here we hit this configure button we turn it on and then it tells you that once enabled you will not be able to modify any settings besides the device settings and the LAN settings because internet access through the Wi-Fi and LAN 1 connections will be disabled and the LAN 2 port will support the IP pass-through so this tells you that you know on the actual unit itself there's two LAN ports and one of them will be disabled and Wi-Fi will be disabled uh, for um, this point and now it just basically is acting as a modem and sends all that traffic to lane 2 prior to this I did have DMZ set up which is effectively sending all of the traffic from the internet to a specific IP address which I had set up as my my main ASUS router but it would not um, send over um, DHCP server support or uh, wouldn't give you a public IP address to that DMZ device. So this is going an extra step over the DMZ and giving um, all of the control over to your personal router. So I'm going to enable this and that will... Um, really give me much more control over internet as far as NAT type all that kind of stuff is very flexible now with the Verizon one with T-Mobile you can't turn off DHCP you can't turn off any of their firewall and their port blocking filtering and you can't send over a public IPv4 uh, IP address from the T-Mobile gateway over to your own personal router so this is something that is really a big difference between Verizon and T-Mobile that um, Verizon does and I was really um, happy and impressed that they enabled the IP pass-through as well because it's such a big differentiator from the T-Mobile if you do any of your own uh, custom stuff or if you're a big gamer this makes a big difference Okay, so now I logged into my main ASUS router, and you can see right here in the top middle is my WAN IP address. So that's my uh, internet IP address. Now, before that was a 192.168.12.x number. And that's because it was given to me by the Verizon gateway, and I wasn't getting the public IP. So now I'm getting the public IP directly to my main ASUS router and that allows me to have things um, you know very easily work between like DDNS or other um, features that um, require that public IP address to go straight to my my router so I'm very happy with this I enjoy these features it makes a big difference because the Verizon one does not feel um, especially now different than the regular fiber cable type internet whereas the t-mobile one uh, still very much reminds me whenever i'm using it that i'm not on a normal uh, isp per se so you know unfortunately for me um or for a lot of my fans that really like t-mobile 
you know, the Verizon one has won me over and this is another step in the right direction that Verizon is making, in my mind, uh, to, to be a better ISP. All right, well, as always, thanks for watching. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe if you aren't already, hit the bell icon, that way you get notified of new videos. And if you have any questions or comments to put in um, to this video, please put them down below in the comment section. I do try to read those and get back to you when I can. So um, thanks and we'll see you next time.